a tapetum lucidum. And that is tongue twisters. All right. Okay. I got this. Usually we just call it the tapetum when we do it. We don't add the lucidum in there. I just wanted to actually. Hello, everybody. My name is Fox. But unlike a real fox, my eyes will never shine quite like this. Now, to understand what's happening here, we actually have to know what's going on with the eye. So, let's say that you're watching this on your computer or on your phone. The light from the screen will enter your eye through your pupil and then project against a thin layer of tissue in the back called the retina. Now that retina then takes that light and translates it into a signal for your brain. Some animals have an extra reflective layer behind the retina called the tapetum lucidum. And that is this thing right here. Now when light hits the retina, some of that passes through, then reflects off of the tapetum lucidum and shines back onto the retina, making that animal's eyes appear to shine or glow. So how does this help the animal? Well, the light reflecting off of that tapetum lucidum will shine back onto the retina, giving them a much better chance to see in low light conditions, like nighttime. So animals that have tapetum lucidum include cats, dogs, goats, deer, cows, whales, dolphins, lions, tigers, bears, oh. but not humans. However, something else really, really cool happens. Now, when the light enters our eyes, since we do not have that extra layer behind our retina, the light bounces off of something else in the back, the blood vessels in the back of your eyeball. So if you've ever seen that bright red light that you had to edit out of a photo, that's coming from the blood in the back of your eyeball. So remember, if you're walking in the woods late at night and you see two glowing eyes looking back at you, that's because the light is reflecting off of the animal's tapetum lucidum. And it can see you probably better than you can see it. My name is Fox, and thank you so much for watching another Spark of Science.